James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still under a geomagnetic storm watch, although I think that we've seen the worst of everything we're going to see. What I did want to do is update you on what's next to come. It looks like on Soho at 284 angstroms, we have a large coral hole coming in to be earth-facing by probably tomorrow. Now, this is going to mean a large uptick in solar winds about 40 hours after that time period. And because it's such a long coral hole, this could go on for definitely more than one day and maybe three or four. So we're expecting solar winds stronger than 600 kilometers per second with that. We also have some sunspots that we need to talk about, so we'll take a look at those. We've had no substantial solar flares that we can see on GOES X-ray vlogs so far today. These are our complex sunspots. This being 4197, the beta gamma sunspot, the most complicated sunspot we currently now have on the Earth-facing side of our sun. We can see that coral hole here, too. And it does reach the equator. So we will get ready for that uptick in solar winds and possible G1 geomagnetic storm associated with those solar winds. Now, we have three sunspots going around the far limb of the sun. But if we count those, it looks like we have 10 sunspots Earth-facing. Only one of those sunspots is semi-complex. Beta Gamma, although a simple sunspot, can still produce an X-class solar flare and large solar flares. Again, the most danger comes from AR4197. Now, again, we have 10, 10 sunspot groups. If we count the ones that are going around the limb, it looks like we have two sunspot groups that need to be named as soon as possible. Possible, my guess would be 42.10 and 42.11. All right, taking a quick look at the back side of our sun, this being Earth facing side here, we see that we have four sunspot groups that they're watching closely. I believe that these two red ones are the ones that I pointed out just now that need to be named. Because remember, this is always a day and a half to two days old. They say that they can't get a satellite behind the sun currently. And so they have to put a composite together based on other satellite information. Uh, so again, I believe that these are the two that I pointed out that have come around the limb already. And 022 and 021 and 023 look like they are just about to come around the limb believe it or not so it's going to stay busy it looks like so in closing we have several sunspot groups here uh, one of them being fairly complex and they're all something that we need to keep our eyes on following those we have a large coral hole here it looks like that this could be a two-day event once it starts. I would look at tomorrow for it to start being earth-facing and maybe late tomorrow. About 40 hours after that, we should see the solar winds. My guess would be just over 600 to 650 kilometers per second. And as far as the sunspots coming around the limb, well, two of them have not been named yet a third has and we will be dealing with everything that we just went over on the back side for the next week or so that said god bless you guys i think the worst of the worst is over it ended up being a nothing burger as usual please share and subscribe always remember anything's possible in bizarro world by the way, this was taken at 6.06 this morning, Central Time. God bless.